Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we will take a look at two methods of inter-VLAN routing using two small networks. One is known as router on a stick, which we already covered in the ICND1 labs, but we will do a little review here. The other method is using SVIs on a multi-layer switch, which is a switch with routing capabilities. Let's get started. First, let's configure switch one for inter-VLAN routing using SVIs. Switch one isn't connected to a router in this small network, and even if it were, it might be preferable for switch one to route between VLANs itself without having to send the traffic to a router. Now, PC1 and PC2 shouldn't be able to ping each other at the moment. Let's try from PC1. Ping 10.0.2.10. Doesn't work. Let's go on switch one and make it work. Enable, conf t, Okay, the first step is to enable IP routing on the switch, which is done with the command IP routing. This enables the layer three capabilities of this multi-layer switch. Next, we just have to configure the VLANs with IP addresses. Interface VLAN 10. I configured each PC to use the dot one address of their subnet as a default gateway. So for VLAN 10, IP address, 10.0.1.1.255.255.255.0. Also, SVIs are shut down by default, so remember, no shutdown. Now let's configure VLAN 20. Interface VLAN 20. IP address 10.0.2.1.255.255.255.0. No shutdown. That's all there is to it. Keep in mind, I already configured switch one's interfaces connected to PC1 and PC2 to be in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Do show VLAN brief. There you go. Now let's try our ping once more from PC1. Ping 10.0.2.10. Okay, it works. That's all there is to enter VLAN routing using SVIs. For a quick review, enable IP routing on the multi-layer switch, create the appropriate SVIs with the interface VLAN command, configure IP addresses on the SVIs, and enable them with no shutdown. Next, let's configure inter-VLAN routing in our other small network using the router on a stick method. By using sub-interfaces, R2 can act as a default gateway for multiple subnets using a single physical interface. Again, I already configured the switch two interfaces connected to a PC3 and PC4 to be in VLAN 30 and VLAN 40. So we just have to configure the connection between switch two and R2. Let's just show that PC3 and PC4 can't ping each other at the moment. I'll ping from PC3 to PC4. Ping 10.0.4.10. Doesn't work. First, let's go on switch two. Enable, conf t. All we have to do here is configure G01 as a trunk. Interface G01, switch port mode trunk. That's all. Now let's go to R2. Enable, conf t. Let's enable the G00 interface. Interface G00, no shutdown. Now let's create a sub-interface for VLAN 30. Interface G00.30. Next, specify this sub-interface as being for VLAN 30. Encapsulation dot 1q 30. Next, we just add the IP address. 
IP address 10.0.3.1.255.255.255.0. That's all. Now let's make another sub-interface for VLAN 40 and do the same. Interface G00.40. Encapsulation one q 40 IP address 10.0.4.1.255.255.255.0. That's all there is to router on a stick. Let's try that ping again from PC3. Ping 10.0.4.1. Okay, there we go. In this lab, we looked at two methods of inter-VLAN routing, SVIs and router on a stick. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.